doing, man? Um, yeah, my name is Leland. I'm broadcasting from Las Vegas, Nevada. And my broadcast today, you know, I'm focusing on um, the situation in Chicago, man. I'm from Chicago. Born and raised there. I ran those streets in Chicago and changed my life. But I want to kind of make people aware of some things that you don't know because you've never really been out there, then you wouldn't know it. And it's going to be hard to believe, but myself, for a fact, and several others that I ran with know this to be the truth. Um, growing up in Chicago in the early 90s, the same situation was happening. I've been in Chicago where a person came into my house and knocked on the door to come and get me early in the morning, 6.30 in the morning, and said, uh, come with me, man. It's, it's a crate of guns in the alley. And I got up and ran out there, and sure enough, there was a crate of guns. And during that time when we in it, you're not thinking about where did the guns just come from? You know, you, you never think about that type of stuff, like where did the guns come from and why are they here? But now that I'm older, I can kind of tell you that it's a diabolical plot. Nothing is stopped. The, gun, the guns are still there. The guns are still being placed in these different strategic communities. It's a plan. It's not out in Bridgeview. It's not out in, you know, uh, West Mount. You know, they, they're putting it in the hundreds for sure. Yeah, they're putting it on 55th. They're putting it in Inglewood. You know, 6.30 in the morning while older people that's at work, that work, you know, you sleep. You're not outside. So, you know, you got the street walkers and the people that's out, you know, they hustling and they out all types of day. And yeah, they're the ones that's going to run across them. And who would go and tell the police? I never went, and went to go tell the police when we found some guns. That don't even make sense. Why would you go tell the police? You know, so people are wondering why it's so much violence. You know, think about it. You think about this, okay, the police are locking people up constantly in Chicago every single day. They're taking guns off the street every single day, every day. So how is it that all of these guns just keep appearing? Where are all the guns coming from? Nobody's going to the gun store buying these guns. So where are all these guns? Now, this is the part, another part that you don't know. I was so used to having exotic guns that I thought that that was the norm. You, know, you understand what I'm saying? I'm saying far as, I don't know if you know, are you familiar with guns, but a fully automatic handgun is almost impossible to get. You know what I'm saying? Uh, a fully automatic assault rifle, you know, that's not common. It may sound common, but that's not common. A Uzi that's fully automatic, that's not common. So, I was so used to having everything in, in the area that I knew of was fully it's shot fully automatic, fully. So, me being 17 and 18 and in my 20s, I was so naive that I believed that's how all guns was. I seen so many different exotic guns on the street running around in different areas with the guys just running around. I thought that, that was the norm. So now I'm an older gentleman. I'm out here, you know, I switch my life around. I'm living right, you know. So now I cleared my name up and got my record sealed. And, I'm going to the gun shop and I'm going to the shooting range shooting like I'm supposed to and I go in the gun stores and I'm asking for certain guns and they looking at me like I'm crazy. Like I made that gun up. These are guns that I've seen several times in different areas that the gun store is saying, huh? That, how would that be on the street? That's something that you would have to get specialized, or customized. You see what I'm saying? But these guns are on the streets of Chicago. And my point to you is, yeah, we can't try to make an excuse for the kids out there shooting. And it ain't all kids, but we can't make an excuse. But I want you to look at the bigger picture. Where are they getting the guns from? It's not one or two areas. It's not, it's not one or two areas. It's everywhere. In the urban community is what I'm telling you. They're not dropping them out there in Hillcrest. They're not going to be out there. You check in them hundreds, you check on the low end, you check in the, in the heart of the city, in the inner city. That's where they're dropping all the guns at. That's where all the killings is happening at. That's why a lot of innocent people are getting shot, stuff like that. Because of these guns, they got guns that they can't control. 
they shooting these guns, letting off, man, a hundred, a hundred shots, man, in, in, in 30 seconds. These guns are not being bought. They don't have no gun license to buy these guns. So where are they getting the guns from? That's the question. I'm telling you right now. They've been dropping the guns off in crates for years. They've been doing it. I've seen it twice in my lifetime. I seen it in 1990, and then I seen it again in 1999. I seen it with my own eyes. You can believe it or not, but that's the honest to God truth. I went out, I seen the guns in the crate myself, and they went out through the whole area. Everybody got this one, grab that one. Let me get that one. I grabbed it. Everybody got them. And that's what they keep doing. That's how the guns keep getting on the streets. That's why the wars don't stop. You see what I'm saying? That's the part that people got to focus on. The gun control, how you gonna control something if you study putting it down there? That's propaganda when they saying this gun control, or we lobbying for gun control. You're not trying to control nothing when you study putting guns out there. They giving it to them. Now they wanna give them the guns so they can catch them with the guns. Either they gonna kill somebody with the gun, then they get to lock them up, or they catch them with the gun and they get to lock them up. Either way it's lose, 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 lose. You see what I'm saying? It's a business for them. It's a business. You know what I'm saying? It's like me wanting to sell a drug, but I got to get you hooked first. You know? It's a business for them. So the more people that they can catch with guns or the more people that commit crimes with guns, they get to lock them up. To them, it's just a number. They don't care. They don't care who it is. But it's more of the African-American community that's, that is, you know, we're the victims. And I hate that everything boils down to race and all of that. I'm not a racist, but I hate, the truth is the truth. And I'm just telling it how it is. You know what I'm saying? I go to Chicago all the time, but if I go out to West Mount, Illinois, where one of my good white friends live, and I go with him, it's a different community. It's a different community. Ain't nobody running around with no guns. Ain't nobody doing nothing. I go out there, I feel safe. As soon as I go where I grew up at, I'm not getting out the car without no gun, because I don't trust nobody, because everybody around here got a gun. Everybody got a gun. You hear that part? That's the part that matter. Everybody got a gun from the 14-year-old on up. Everybody got one. They ain't even doing nothing with it. They just got one. Well, how everybody? How do everybody got all these guns? Where they come from? Right back to that again. That's what I'm trying to tell you. The guns are being deliberately placed, strategically placed in certain communities to target certain individuals. Please pay attention. Please research it. Check it out. Ask some of the OGs who've been around and they'll tell you the same thing, that I'm not lying. I'm just willing to expose it. I'm trying to tell you the truth. It's the truth. They deliberately placing guns in Chicago in different areas. That's why it's so much shooting. The kids, as a little boy when you grow up, you want to be a cowboy. You want a gun in your hand. As soon as you get it, you're going to emulate what you're seeing that people in front of you doing. So as soon as you get your hand on that gun, you got an extension clip, an extended clip. They run, where all these extended clips come from? Where? <laughs> where do you think they come from? Just think about it logically. Where do all these automatic weapons come from that's doing all this shooting? Where do they come from? But nobody can go. Chicago don't got no gun stores. Think about that. There is no gun store in the city limits of Chicago. So where are the guns coming from? How do you get bullets? How do you get bullets? Because they drop enough bullets with the guns. That's how. Where they get bullets from? Okay, if I got guns, say I got the guns. Where am I going to get bullets if it's not a gun store in the city of Chicago? That's what I'm trying to show y'all. Think about it logically. They don't want us to stop and think. Because then if we stop and think, then we're going to be on, on point. You understand what I'm saying? So... Hopefully, this will wake somebody up. Maybe you'll snatch your son up or your nephew or your cousin and you'll talk to him and you'll let them know it's a bigger picture than running around with these gangs and that stuff ain't gonna last no way, you know. I, I was there. I came up out of it. Everybody won't be so lucky. But today, I just want to drop one to grow on on y'all, man, that there is a plot and there is a plan and it's strategically against our communities so this is signing off from las vegas the truth this is not no maybe i think he know what he's talking about i'm telling you the truth they dropping guns off man